this is a very serious storm, very serious. We've been preparing for this. Uh, this could be life-threatening, and we want to make sure that we took all the steps what we believe were necessary, including starting with the declaration of emergency, a state of emergency uh, early on in the process. Yes, we announced that it would be going into effect at 8 p.m. yesterday. But that allowed us time for the DOT to deploy their trucks, uh, bring in the thruway authority, all the plows that we're bringing in from other parts of the state. You'll get more details on that momentarily. But also the utility workers, because this is, we've seen from past storms, this is a huge point of vulnerability. You do not want to be in the middle of a storm and then start calling in utility workers to be on the ground to start doing the repairs so we can restore power. They need to be deployed and on the ground and ready to take action the second the limbs come down and bring down the wires or whatever circumstance has because when the weather is this cold, this is where the dangerousness sets in. You cannot have people in their homes without heat for any length of time, and that is the dangerous part of what we're concerned about, why we wanted to reach out to the utilities, make sure they're on the ground, and we've received the word that they are. So, so we are responding quickly and urgently, and as I mentioned, it's a classic nor'easter. The snow is on track in terms of volumes, and this is what you t keep track of, how much is predicted overall, how much per hour, because that is going to show you the severity. Uh, couple that with the wind, wind velocity because that's what creates the whiteout conditions. But as much as we're glad it's a Saturday, very happy it's a Saturday, we don't have our normal rush hour commutes, we had anticipated based on the projections and, and what was forecast was that we'd be seeing the brunt of this during the, the late night hours from midnight to about 8 a.m. This storm lingered. We're still getting the same amount of volume, the same effect. But as everyone knows, we are dealing with this in live time right now as opposed to being in a cleanup mode, which is what we had hoped for. So we're going to see some peaks now. Uh, it's continuing to pick up on the uh, Long Island, as you know, uh, Hudson Valley, as well as New York City. But it's uh, high winds, heavy snow, blizzard conditions, all the elements of a classic nor'easter, and that's what we're dealing with right now.